In the Bhagavat, Bhakti Vinod Thakur explained how Brahma looked inside himself into his inner spiritual nature and received guidance from the universal spirit. He similarly explained how Vyas looked inside of himself and was inspired from within to write the Bhagwat Puran, which culminated his series of works starting with the Vedas. Bhaktivinoda Thakur says we can do the same when we spiritualize ourselves and learn to look within. Learning to look within is what in Sanskrit is called looking to the Antayami Guru or the Inner Guru. Christians might call it the Holy Spirit. Others might call it the Cosmic Consciousness. There are many names for it, the Super Soul, and different ways to address it. Emerson called it Natural Intuition, and Bhaktivinod Thakur called it Sahaja Samadhi. They all mean the same thing, basically. And Sahaja Samadhi was basically Bhakti Vinod's attempt to translate Emerson's natural intuition. When we attune our lives to our inner spiritual nature and learn to look within, we too can realize truth from within, from that universal spirit that is within each and every one of us, sitting there as a bird on a tree waiting for its friend who is busy eating the fruits of that tree to turn to him for guidance, as it's explained in the Upanishads. But this isn't something that happens just in ancient times to great seers and incarnations. This happens to people today, to people like you and me. I didn't think I was ready to write a book like Universalist Radhakrishnanism. I sought other people who were perhaps more scholarly to help me. No one came forward. But then I looked within myself, and I found that within myself th th there was the guidance I needed. There was the knowledge and wisdom and inspiration that I could turn to, and that it came from a source higher than myself. And in this I believe, and I believe my works are inspired just as Bhakti Vinod Thakur's works were inspired, and the works of Vyas and other great thinkers, such as Plato and Spinoza and Emerson, were inspired by this inner intuition. We should trust our intuition, because it's sometimes God is speaking to us from within. And so Bhakti Vinod advises us to see everything as spiritual, as we spiritualize our lives and learn to live in continual union with the divine. When we surrender ourselves to the will of Radha Krishna, we become instruments of the divine or agents of the divine and the divine works through us in order to fulfill its will, so that thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we turn to natural devotion, which springs from our natural intuition and spontaneous attraction and love for Radha Krishna. And this natural devotion is the way that we present for practitioners to follow, to attain the realizations that Bhakti Vinod promised through his practice, because we follow the same practices that Bhakti Vinod did, only we present them in a more modern, up-to-date manner, just as he presented them, in a more modern, up-to-date manner for his time. 
And so we offer universal Estrada Krishnas and the way of natural devotion as an alternative to outmoded Indian forms of Radha Krishna devotion, which are stuck in the past centuries ago and not reinterpreted for Westerners. This is an attempt to reinterpret Vaishnavism for Westerners today who want to live a Western lifestyle and imagine a Braj that's more in line with their own vision of an ideal spiritual abode where they might want to spend eternity in perhaps a more Western setting than a traditional Indian setting. So in this way, I offer people an alternative to the traditional as well as the newly reinvented way that Radha Krishna devotion was introduced to the West in the 1960s. This is a way that harkens back to the teachings of Bhakti Vinod Thakur, who is my main source of inspiration for this whole project and for my life. Hope to talk to you more in the next installment on the Bhagavat by Bhaktivinoda Thakur.